What's going on everybody? Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So for those that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button. We upload uh, every week, you know, trying to keep up with the program. And for my day ones, those of you that have been subscribed for a while now, just know, I love y'all. Seriously, like, like, for real. Like, you guys, you guys are the best. You guys are making all this possible, so seriously, I wish I could give more to you guys. <laughs> just, just saying. So. So today, actually, um, let's talk about some bongos. I just wanted to talk about a simple combination that you could do on the bongos. We'll get to different martillos and different things that you could actually do with this, but I wanted to start slow. Believe it or not, this is my first time at least teaching video-wise bongos. So I'm gonna try to do this as step, baby steps, you know? Ba baby steps is where it's at, you know? Being a dad, I'm understanding that. So the combination I want to show you is this. <sighs> Simple. Um, I first saw Anthony Carillo do this in a video with him and Marvin Diz and I don't know if it's where he placed it, but that little combination has got me like shook for a, like for a long time. This thing, I was just said, what is he doing? It looks so simple, but I guess where he's placing it and how it's accented. So first, let me show you how to do the combination and then where it would go in the martillo that he was using. So the combination starts with a right slap. Now on bongos, it's a lot different than how you would slap on a conga. Obviously you have less space than you do on your conga. So you have to learn how to be able to project a slap without really one, injuring yourself, two, struggling to make it happen. And then that it could project loud enough. I normally don't play like this. I, this is uh, to me, I, I just, unless I'm doing multi-percussion, but I would obviously put it between my legs. I just don't want the camera pointing down there the whole time, you know? <laughs> yeah. So the way I try to slap is, I, I kind of take the ideas I have on going guys and try to be as center as possible when it comes to the bongos. But I slap literally, I try to leave a little air pocket in between here and my fingers towards like the middle, maybe towards the end. I've seen people flat out do it like this and I've seen people cuff like crazy to get a slap. To me, you have your own style on how to slap. I just don't want to injure myself, especially this area of my hand. So I try to slap on this part right here. All I do is let my fingers go and just keep it there. Now, if I were to move it more flat, this is what the sound you would get. And if I were to cup it, this is kind of the sound you would get. I, I, I'm not trying to hurt myself. But this way's work for me. Um, I don't know how you slap on bongos, but this is just what has worked for me throughout the years. So you start the combination with that slap and you use your right hand to do it. Then what he does is he actually goes to his embra and does like a finger open. What I mean is you could obviously do an open tone, but in his case, he's really projecting the open tone with the tips of his fingers. So I've seen a lot of people, especially conga players, it's hard for them to translate an open 
that's on their conga to an open that's on the bongo. But it's just things that you have to train yourself to do and try to kind of be able to project more on your fingers than your palm. So up to this point, this is how the movement will go. Then what you would do is another finger open, an open tone with your left hand, but really it's kind of like a flam between the open that you're doing here once you're coming out of the slap. So what you're getting on the embra is this. If you notice, it's just a little bit accented between the both notes. You could easily do two same tones, but you want kind of like to, at least the way he did it is he was adding just a little bit more into what the left hand is doing to add more accent. So I don't know if you're able to hear the difference between these two, but you should be getting three different sounds. So. And I know some of you are saying, why the whole crossover move? And I think the intensity and the momentum that you're getting coming from the embra to the slap just adds a little bit more to, I would say, the, the accent, the feel that you're going to be giving. Now, how would you put this in a martillo? So, uh, Anteri Carillo was doing just a basic martillo. The martillo, the best way you should be able to kind of trigger yourself, the slaps always land on one. So you're going to be doing four slaps when you're going to be doing it in a martillo. So to give you an example, it's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the best way I can explain on where you're able to put this in a martillo. But these type of combinations are kind of cool because they play with the time. How that flam is accented and where it's placed kind of adds a different feel to just the common combinations that people do, you know? All right, y'all. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I have a couple more ideas to be able to present to you guys in regards to bongos. Uh, be nice with me. This is really my first time showing you guys uh, how I would play bongo and Later on we're going to talk about uh, different styles of martillos. Nor we're going to get to that as well like Rey Colón, Johnny Dandy, Anteri Carrillo, uh, Los Manguas, man just so many man. There's so many cats out there that you know, never discredit the bongos, guys. Never, never. The bongo is a beautiful instrument. It's so much flavor, so much feel, too. So the reason why I was hesitating is just there's so much information out there. It's really hard to grasp everybody's feel. Uh, because if you listen to Dandy, if you listen to Ray Colón, if you listen to Mangua Senior or Junior, those guys, the, those guys are, are legend, man. So it's really hard to, to present it to you guys. But... Just be patient, all right? All right, you guys. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe. See you guys next time.